When, many years ago, we went to Africa with our international group, quando molti anni fa siamo andati in Africa con il nostro gruppo internazionale, all the actors had done for many months many, many exercises tutti gli attori per molti mesi avevano fatto molti, molti esercizi which today almost all over the world groups of actors are doing. These exercises were not to become acrobats or even to use one's body in a marvelous virtuoso manner. In fact, most of our actors moved very badly. Si muovevano molto male. And six months of exercises didn't make them much better. Eh. One day we had a circus acrobat who came in to teach us. He gave up and never came again. Ci ha rinunciato, ha ritornato. So when we got to Africa, Quindi, there were about 20 people, all of different races, tutti di razze diverse, doing the many improvised movements, facendo that, molti movimenti improvvisa, improvvisati, but which all came out of the exercises we'd been doing. So what one could wonder was the effect of the exercise. And the effect of the exercise was that it had made the team very, very much more sensitive to one another than if they hadn't done the exercises. And it made them more sensitive in the way that a string quartet or a small orchestra is. So it meant that even an awkward person doing an awkward movement Anche una persona impacciata che faceva un movimento impacciato had a body that within it was more sensitive to what his movement was trying to express. One day we played in an African village where every member of the audience had a magnificent body. And they, we had seen them dancing. Li avevamo visti ballare. After the performance. Dopo il nostro spettacolo. And every one of us was very ashamed of are coming and showing them our movements when they could move so marvelously. So afterwards we went to the heads of the village and apologized. We said, forgive us for bringing our own clumsy bodies into a world where you ne there is nothing that you can't do with your own marvelously developed physical organisms. And the heads of the village talked together for a moment. I capi del villaggio si sono parlati fra un momento fra di loro. And they shook their heads. Hanno scosso le loro teste. And the head of the village said, Il capo del villaggio ha detto, He said, For centuries, we centuri. have all been doing a very small number of movements, which are the movements of our ethnic background. These are our movements. Questi sono i nostri movimenti. And they said, for us, it is of the greatest importance per noi hanno grande importanza, la più grande importanza to see that in the world there is this enormous range of movements Vedere which we have never attempted. And I think it's in this direction that one can say that what happens in the present moment is the only moment of theater truth, and either the action at that moment reflects more than the banal without losing the banal. Senza perdere il banale. Because if we try to lose the banal, we deny our ordinary existence. But if we stay with the banal, Ma se rimaniamo in contatto col banale, we are glorifying the worst in our ordinary existence. Glorifichiamo il peggio della nostra esistenza. But if the awkwardness, the clumsiness, and the inadequacy of the banal can reflect something wider at the very moment when it happens, then the present moment allora il momento presente opens up si apre beyond what it would have been without the action.